Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I would consider myself the most experienced practitioners in systematic creativity. After 30 years of existing in large organizations and practicing creativity, I've tried so many innovation methods out there, you can't believe it. It wasn't until I found this systematic approach that totally jazzed me in terms of the ability to innovate on demand. You are going to love the message I'm bringing to you today. My message is simple, that creativity is a skill. It's not a gift, it's not something you're born with. You can learn to be creative, just like you would learn any other skill. Walking out of this room, you're going to be more creative than when you walked in, because you certainly don't want to be stuck in this situation for the rest of your career. Thinking outside the box is a myth. What I want to teach you today is that better thinking happens when you stay inside the box. It's not really about what's inside you, it's what's inside products in terms of the patterns that have existed for thousands of years. There's nothing more satisfying to see people be able to look at themselves in the mirror and say, I'm more creative now. The way you innovate is not by taking something you think is good and tearing it down. It's by taking something that's your starting point and you build up from it. Yes, there is a spectrum of people who are more creative than those, but guess what? Even the most creative people in the world, let's, let's take Paul McCartney from the Beatles. He uses templates. Paul McCartney is not the only creative artist to use patterns. Salvador Dali have used patterns, poets like Robert Frost. Highly innovative products have more in common that they tend to follow a set of patterns, and those patterns can be reapplied to get new innovations. The prevailing wisdom is that creativity only is blessed on certain people. So my job when I stand in front of an audience is I've got to get them over that hump. And if you work this through in a structured, disciplined way, iteratively, you end up at the end with what I would consider, and only then would I consider it, an idea. One of my favorite quotes about innovation is a guy named Roger Smith. He said, perhaps the greatest invention of all is a method of invention. And that's what I think we have here. I just want to leave you with one last piece of advice. Never, ever think outside the box. Thank you very much.